Welcome to another edition of Back in Shape with T. I'm Tarashe, and today I'm going to do a freestyle rant ramble on Ripped, one of my dog-eared copies. I've had this book for nearly 20 years, and right off the bat, if you want to know what the diet looked like for contests for him, just about 1,600 calories, 18 eggs a day, 126 grams of protein, no processed food. The guy was really lean and into muscle building by the time he was 15 in the early 50s. By the time he was 30, he was kind of a bulky weightlifter, about 160 pounds. But when he competed, he cut down to just about 150 at 2.4% body fat. Here he stands approximately 149 pounds. He talks about avoiding sugars and avoiding creams and all the processed food. The guy had a very natural way of eating. He liked to have eggs and milk over meats because they were quickly digested. In this book, Clarence admits to using steroids as he got up to nearly 170, around about 167 pounds. Uh, his off-season, he would take about 167 grams of protein and 2,100 calories, just so you guys would know. I just broke it down in numbers for you. One of the things in this book that I love to show people is him using a 100-pound dumbbell to do side bends to build his oblique muscles. He had the genetics to be lean, so he didn't build bulky muscles by doing side bends. So guys, he basically ate much of his food was organic, whole foods. That's how he got in shape. He ate very lean, no more than 2,200 calories a day. He would go over that in this book, but talked about his cardiovascular exercise changing from low intensity steady state to high intensity training, HIIT training. In his DVD, he would also show you what his daily diet was like. His workouts were the same. He had workout journals that go all the way back to the 70s, and he keeps them in meticulous order. So when I was reading Ripped One, the first book, I used it to help me. In this photo, I'm 168 pounds. I used it to help me get ready for my first bodybuilding show down to 163. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Now let's get into a little bit of biceps and back training. Get your dumbbells. Right, from there, alternating bicep curls. 10, 1, 1, 2, 2, all the way down. Three, good posture. Three, four, four, five, five, five more each arm, and five, five, four, four, three, three, two, Two, one, and one. I love this because specifically, if you're the type of person who's not used to doing a routine that mimics bodybuilding, this is a bodybuilding, body shaping routine for aesthetics. And if you're the type of person who normally does functional exercises, more like push-ups and TRX and you know, gets out there biking and hiking and really doing a hodgepodge of movement. This routine that I put together for you will take you out of your comfort zone and really give you a snippet, a little idea of what it's like for intense bodybuilding. And it does focus on like really building up good arms. Uh, like I, I've, I've said this before, there are many years I laid off of arms because I was more into functional fitness. And, Feels good to be back. One, one, two, two, three, three, follow me, four, four, five, five, six, and up, seven, up, eight, up, nine, 
up and 10 and 10. For many of you who I'm asking to get back in shape, the people who I'm really advocating cardiovascular exercise and weight loss for, this, these snippets, these 10 to 15 minute, 20 minute workouts with weights are perfect for you because it adds in the element that's really gonna speed up your metabolism. Doing cardio burns off fat immediately if you're doing what I'm asking you to do. Uh, typically 20 to 30,000 steps a day. Great for the heart, great for the lungs, becomes aerobic, uses fat as its main substrate after around about 20 minutes, 22 minutes or so, you start to get into a more fat burning mode. This right here, you're into building muscle, burning glycogen, and as you feed the muscle, the amino acids after for the muscles to grow, your resting metabolic rate raises and it lends the body to a much leaner look than just doing cardio alone. And if you're crash dieting, you're gonna look like a deflated balloon, but you want tone. You may not wanna be bulky, but you wanna be toned, trust me. This is the last set. Here we go. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, feels good, nine, and 10 on each arm. Whew. Hope everything's all good out there. Okay, from there, we're gonna go directly into one arm rows. I'm gonna reposition this. We're going back to back to back. So I'll go 10 on one, 10 on the other. Then again, 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 no rest. I'm gonna reposition. I'm my own cameraman here. All right. Here we go, one arm row. 10, one, stretch, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, stretch, nine, 10. This is also good after biceps. And one, abs tight, two, three, stretch, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Second set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Third set. Second set, second arm. Oof. Cheating. One, two, Three, feel that stretch. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, here we go. Last set. Stretch, stomach tight. Scoop it in. Flat back. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last arm, last set. All right, guys, this is for all the marbles. One, two, three, four, stretch, five, six, Seven, abs tight, focus, eight, nine, ten. Oh, and that's how we add on and build up on this arm series. The element of growth, the element of small changes to each one of these routines 
to stimulate some muscle growth and some change. We went from two exercises to three exercises to four exercises. So I hope you enjoyed this series. I think I'm gonna do a bonus one the next video and then we're gonna move on to a different element from there. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.